We're less than a month away from the launch of NBA 2K22, but you might be asking the big question, where is all the news? Well, up until today, I really had no idea because NBA 2K is finally starting to talk about the game, but in other markets. In Asian markets, they're beginning to talk about next-gen city news. There's articles from random websites quoting NBA 2K developers talking about current-gen cruise ship talk. There's talk about the soundtrack, there's talk about the gameplay, so let's dive into it, man. First of all, if y'all new to the channel, you haven't already, man, be sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video, let's try and get to 25,000 likes. And let's get into it. <laughs> All right, I kind of want to start off with the newest news, and that's this video here. I don't exactly know what language this is, but when it's a language that looks Asian and I don't know how to readily identify it, I assume Mandarin. All right, the bread and butter, as we all know, of any NBA 2K experience is the gameplay. It's the basketball. 2K, I definitely could have got somebody that speaks this language to just make the video, but it's fine. I prefer it in English. It's why you buy the game. NBA 2K22 takes huge steps to making that experience better than ever. Ah. Uh, with a very... Um, sharp focus on offense and defense and making those components more skill-based and less random animation based. Oh my God, I'm fucking sick, guys, of hearing this exact thing be said every year. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I've heard this be said 12 times in my life. I don't believe it anymore. We've made NBA 2K22 both the most accessible and the most enjoyable NBA 2K experience to date. Users are gonna have complete control over layups and dunks and and those mechanics, in, in previous years, you would kind of- Oh my god. Okay, this is about the fifth time in the 2K cycle we've heard this exact thing. Please, something useful. Probably the mode that most of you play, that you know most everyone plays, is our My Career mode. It is our narrative-driven experience that allows okay. you to okay. you know, effectively go from rags to riches, to go from high school to the NBA. In NBA 2K22, it is back, and oh, it is bigger than ever. Back! In many the news! My career is back! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh, stop! Bro! Bro! Is how I would have reacted if I actually received some good news. In NBA 2K22, it is yeah. back okay. and it is bigger than ever in okay. many different ways. Tell me! On the next gen consoles, my career is completely integrated, integrated with, the, with city. the city. And what does that mean? Um, I would say in previous years, my career was kind of akin to a movie. You would start it, you would get a five minute sequence and you would just go play games and you'd eventually get more sequences. This year, like I said, it's completely integrated. You are going to have an intro and the, right away your player is running around the city. the city. He's talking to agents, he's talking to his best friend, coaches. It's very RPG-like. You are experiencing. Okay, 2K, I want I want 2K to know this. Uh, is someone watching, please? If y'all are going down an RPG route, please don't like half do it. Like really, because RPG games is like, this is some of the most addicting games on planet Earth. There's a reason why I don't touch games like Diablo. I already know I'm gonna have too much fun. And I have too many things to do in my life. So if y'all gonna go down RPG, please do RPG correctly. In my opinion, the best done RPG from a big publisher that went that route after their game having nothing to do with RPG to go into the RPG route was the Assassin's Creed, I think they perfected it with Assassin's Creed Origins. So take some notes from Ubisoft, please, please. This rise to fame in the city that you live in. Uh, it's a really cool feeling and it's a really big evolution for sports video games. Our yes. current gen consoles, because again- What was that? What the f was that? It's a little tidbit. What was that? What was that? I want to see that screenshot. How do y'all fuck up an editing error like this, 2K? God damn it, you're editing. <laughs> what am I looking at? Is this somebody's stream? Is this a 2K21 next gen stream that made it sway into the video? <laughs> hey, shout out this guy, man. Keep grinding, my brother. Our current gen consoles, because again, we're really making two games this year. We're making a brand new next gen experience for our next gen consoles and yeah. those users. Yeah. And we're doing the same thing for current gen. Current gen also has a fully rich narrative um, that people will enjoy in a more traditional. Um, theme you're on the boat which we talked about earlier and you're getting the full my career experience. my brother that is not a boat that is a mega yacht please please i've seen boats before some of my neighbors have boats that is not what a boat looks like that is a mega yacht experience in a way that you've been experiencing for many years so no matter which version of the game you purchase you're getting a brand new experience that we know you're yeah, we know you're gonna love hey um this might work in whatever market you tried this on but it is not working with me you literally said nothing new uh because all of that we knew we knew you was gonna be integrated into the city we knew all of that i actually received no new intel for those who don't know 
The next gen version NBA 2K22 is not the traditional my career experience. They alluded to it in Brian Mazik's article a couple weeks ago. I dropped a video on it. If you missed it, you can catch it. Link in the description or on the end screen at the end of the video. But to sum it all up, really, instead of having a story mode and then they let go of you and there's nothing else to talk about, the story mode is like they kind of RPG'd it up. So now you have to grind RPG like to get your fame up. And there's different side hustles. It went trending on Twitter because everyone was like, "What? A, you could be a rapper on NBA 2K22 now. You could be a, a fashion." mogul in NBA 2K22 now. I prefer it that way. I never really enjoyed a single player in my career story. If you're integrating it to the online, my dick is getting a little bit hard. I prefer it that way. But the news actually continued because NBA 2K22 Intel dropped this tweet on Twitter. They said, the cruise ship will cruise to different locations when events take place on current gen. To which Badge Plug appropriately responded, the bank size is large. Man, I'm gonna come with low expectations for current gen because I don't believe that the dev team they have working on the game is as good as the next gen dev team but i'm hoping that there's gonna be a lot of good frequent content across both games i don't know which game people is gonna stick on i think the answer is gonna be next gen this year but because current gen is currently winning that might be a difficult transition for some people to make believe it or not i actually really like that 2k is taking a risk my career has been the same way for a very long period of time 2k took a risk to introduce my career in 2k10 for them to take a risk to transform the way that my career is played in my opinion is dope it's Especially because if you did want to like a generic my career experience that's been the way it's been for like 11 years now, you can go on current gen. This is the best time for them to take a risk like this. Chamoma uh, dropped a tweet on Twitter. He said, 2K cruise ship sales to events. Here's the interview articles. Out of nowhere, 2K devs this year is just talking a random article. They just You just see like a 2K dev quoted in a random article on a random website. This ship will have various daily events while the ship sails closer to different land masses, allowing you to jump off and shoot hoops all around the world. You're gonna start and see an island off in the distance and every day gets closer. You can jump off the boat, you can go to various locales around the world. We even have an event in Egypt, events in Iceland in later seasons as well. I, I don't know if I can't read or this article writer doesn't know how to write. I say it's both of us. Hey, I want y'all to know that what he just said is actually nothing new in the NBA 2K series because in NBA 2K3 or was it NBA 2K4? It might have been both. Egypt was a map. Washington DC was a map. China was a map in the game. These are all things they did multiple decades ago that I've been saying for a while needs to come back. I've been saying for a minute it'd be nice to play around the world. So this right here, I'm looking, my d is getting hard. I'll wait to see the execution of it though because when you talk about something, you tend to assume like best case scenario. What if they actually pull it off? But what if it, they don't and it's buggy and it's a mess or it's, it's not like the environment suck and there's no lights and it's not colorful. It's like 2K18 grayscale. We don't know. But this is positive news for the people that if you don't have next gen consoles yet because they're still hard to come across, you can play the current gen version of the game and you could be rest assured that it's a whole new dev team working on it. And unlike in previous generation jumps, it's not like some shit they just shit out that they didn't care about, they put one developer on. It's a whole dev team working on the game. The chance that becomes a dookie product is not as is not as low, is not as high. You know what I mean. Things got a little bit more interesting because 2K is getting a little bolder with their risk taking. This time it has to do with soundtrack. Tracks, NBA 2K said this. The NBA soundtrack will be updated with fresh tracks to capitalize on some of the hardest artists at the time. Taking it a step further, up and coming producers will also be able to drop their own beats for the game's community to get their hands by adding vocals and remixing the beats. 2K Sports' decision comes after years of sports games suffering from soundtracks quickly aging amid a constantly moving music industry. Don't ever describe the music industry as constantly moving. Those are some of the oldest thinking people I've seen on planet Earth. But they're right. Uh, there was a time where the soundtrack was like a huge part of the game. And as decades went on, it's become less and less important. Soundtracks have been hitting less and less. I know some of y'all still remember like NBA Live 06 soundtrack. I could narrate you the lyrics word by word for a majority of songs on that soundtrack. NBA Street Volume 2. That game without the soundtrack is not the same game. It just it puts you in a it puts you in a vibe it puts you in a vibe to want to dunk on people and break ankles with Allen Iverson I don't know how many of you guys know this, but the process of getting the rights for the music they put in these games is not only very expensive and costs millions of dollars, but also takes a lot of effort. In my opinion, it's not worth the effort and you could take that same money and just hire more developers. I don't think nobody really even listens to the soundtracks in 2K games no more. How I listen to it, I just have my Spotify running on the side, Apple Music running on the side, you can play whatever you want to. And for copyright reasons, I haven't even listened to soundtracks in the last six, seven NBA 2Ks. I turn them off immediately because I have to make videos 
and I don't want artists taking all my money. But for those of you who actually do enjoy the experience, they call it now a dynamic soundtrack, so the, the soundtrack is gonna be changing throughout the years, so there's something to look forward to there if you're into that. I've been asking 2K to actually give us real exclusive content, access to behind the scenes stuff for so long, and it seems like the past couple years they've been actually doing it. They just cover athlete Luka Doncic in a mocap suit recording some of the animations for NBA 2K. That's Mike Wang in the tuck, baby! Yeah! Mike Wang's defending Luka? <laughs> hey, hey, that's actually dope, by the way. Yo, man, if my job was to be a developer for a game, fucking celebrity athletes came in and I got to defend them, that's a lit job, I'm not gonna lie. D up, Mike. Oh, yes, sir, what a clean form. So we got some new Luka animations in the game. You love to see it. Bro, please tell me that's not Luka's size up. Nobody is ever gonna pull the trigger on this dribble move in the park. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, I know Mike Wang might be telling you to be less explosive, Luka, but please, for the sake of gameplay and fun, be more explosive in these animations, please. Anyway, that's, that is the entirety of the clip. NBA 2K is pushing pre-orders as they usually do. Uh, and developers love to push pre-orders as early as possible because they just take the pre-order money and invest it. So if you give them $60 and they make like a 8% return on your $60 that they invest in random markets around the world, then they're making more money than your $60 is giving them. And so they're making money with the money you give them early Early, and so they incentivize pre-orders, which usually means that developers like to give news early so that you have a reason to pre-order. But for some reason, with less than a month left in 2K's launch, we still haven't heard too much about the gameplay. We haven't heard really much about the city, my team, my NBA, the W, really any mode. Unlike any way they've released news in the past, I'm curious to see when they're gonna really start to pummel home some news because we're waiting. We want to see what the games are all about. And this year, there's two games to talk about. There's two games. There's two full games to talk about. It feels like of any year, this would be the year where you would start early. So you can let people know what's going on in these video games you're selling to us for 70 bones, 2K. Or 100. It's more than 100. Some of these packages is more than $100. Hey, in the comments down below, let me know if y'all already pre-order NBA 2K22 on either current, next, or both gens. If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Drop a like on it so we get to 25 5,000 and I have a second channel where I'm uploading consistently on oh, man catch those videos and screen right here Boom boom man watch some extra videos and that's a lot of things I ask you to do You don't have to do any of them if you don't want to I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace